Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing makeup based off of the character Rio from Ergo Proxy. Yeah, it's a really simple character, but I remember seeing this trend like maybe two years ago. So I've been wanting to do this makeup for a good little while. And I thought, why not? Right now, Halloween time, it's the perfect time for me to attempt this look. And yeah, so she's super simple. She has black brows and then she has blue eyeshadow and the nude lips. I'll see you guys in the next step. Guys, hey y'all, I'm back and I just did my base and it's supposed to be super plain so I didn't go really hard on the contour. Let's get started on the eye makeup. I'm really excited guys. It's a super simple look, honestly. I'm gonna line all around my eye with this LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. If you guys wanna know any of the products that I use for my base, I will have them all listed on my Instagram photo that I'll post of this look. Go check out my Instagram and all the products will be in the caption of my post. Okay, you guys see? I put some on the bottom. Kind of hard to do on camera because it's a little bit of a messy process. But I'm going to do that to this side over here. And I'm also going to do a tiny bit on the top lid and I'll BRB. Guys, this looks so good just by itself. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, anyways, um, now we're gonna start on the blue eyeshadow. I'm gonna be taking my Morphe X Disney and Friends palette and we're gonna go in with this little medium blue shade right here. Maybe even a little bit of this one, but I do just wanna be going in with just the, these two mainly and probably some of that over here. This is also a dark blue too. So I'm probably just gonna go in with this shade, this shade, and this shade. And maybe even a little bit of black once we get down to it, you know. Okay, so let's get started. Taking a mixture of the two lightest shades and then I'm going to just create this this little triangular shaped eyeshadow on here. So now I've just applied that kind of like right here and I want to blend that out the tiniest bit because if you blend it out too much then it's not Rayle's makeup, okay? So we're going to blend this out just the tiniest bit with the lightest blue shade that I showed y'all. I'm going around the edges of this and we're just slightly blending this out because we don't want to go any further up our eyelid than what we already are doing. Also guys, don't forget to go into the inner corner over here. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a darker blue shade and I'm going to just go down here with the darker blue shade and then we're gonna go back in with the lighter shade and we're gonna blend out and I'm gonna keep doing this process and yeah it's a really simple eyeshadow look honestly I think it's super cute and super simple and yeah okay so I'm gonna keep on doing that and I'm gonna come back once I think that it looks the best Okay guys, so now if you guys can look at that and see, I added just the tiniest bit of black to my upper lid like this. I literally went like that all across there. The rail has this little tiny wing on her eye, so we're going to attempt that as well. She has an inner corner wing and she also has an outer corner wing, so we're going to do that on camera. See, it's really, really tiny. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a super, super tiny wing over there. And then we're going to do an inner corner wing as well, which will also be tiny. It's not going to be a big one at all. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to blend this blue shade on my lower lid. Okay, look at that. That looks really, really cool. Now, off camera, I am going to put on some mascara. And I'll come back with you guys to do highlighter, it looks like. So, I'll see y'all then. Hey guys, so I just did the mascara off camera and I decided that I'm not going to put on any kind of lashes just because she doesn't have super crazy up lashes, you know, so I just, I don't, I don't know. I think it's cute right now. I think if I add lashes, it may make the look appear a little odd. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just think that if I add lashes, it won't give the same look as her eyes. Now we're going to do some highlighter. So she again doesn't have much of any highlighter but she does have like this little tiny streak on her nose so i am gonna put on this becca highlighter look you see my reference photo up so i'm gonna use the shade icicle you see okay so i'm also gonna put just the tiniest bit up here 
And then there's a little tiny bit over here, not a lot at all. But yeah, y'all, that's it for this part. And we're gonna do our lippy and we'll be finished with this look. Okay, guys, so I just finished the hair. I did it off camera, and um, now we're going to be doing our lippy. So, Rail has like nothing on her lips. She literally has blank lips, there's nothing there. So, I'm gonna be making my lips the same shade as my face right now. So, I'm gonna take this MAC Studio Fix um, foundation, powder foundation in the shade NC45. Now I'm going to be taking this MAC lip pencil and we're going to define a few areas but really lightly. This stuff is like really close to my skin tone as well. Just a little bit of like weird definition. And then last but not least I'm going to go in with this lip gloss. It is a Morphe lip gloss in the shade Famous. Okay guys, so I just finished with the makeup and I'm extremely happy about it. It's super simple. With that being said, you guys, I am finished with the look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video because I really did enjoy doing the makeup look. This was very quick and cute and easy. Makeup look 3 done. I hope that my next video will be up very soon. Don't forget to follow me on all my different social medias. They are all linked down below. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And if you made it this far, comment this emoji. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Happy Halloween!